Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Shocking truth emerges about crying Honduran girl who was separated from family. By now, you have probably seen the stirring photograph of a young Honduran girl crying at the border as she is supposedly being separated from her family. The picture has been circulated by countless media outlets as a condemnation of President Donald Trump's hardline immigration policies. However, we've now learned the shocking truth about that little girl, and it will make you furious. Two-year-old Yanela, who became the poster child for family separation at the border when a photo of her crying went viral, was never actually separated from her family. And, just like that, another liberal narrative bites the dust. She has become the poster child for family separation at the border, and the subsequent moral outrage against the Trump administration, but the crying Honduran child held up as a heartbreaking example of family separation at the border was, in fact, never separated from the parent with whom she illegally crossed the border into the U.S. The two-year-old girl, Yanela, and her mother, Sandra, were detained in Texas after attempting to cross the Rio Grande River, and were held together. Source, The Daily Caller. Dennis Javier Varela Hernandez said his daughter Yanela and wife Sandra are doing just fine, although he wasn't happy with Sandra for taking their baby on the dangerous journey across the border. I know now that they are not in danger. They are safer now than when they were making the journey to the border, said Hernandez. I don't have any resentment for my wife, but I do think it was irresponsible of her to take the baby with her in her arms because we don't know what could happen, he said of Sandra and Yanela's attempt to cross the border, adding that he would not attempt the trip himself. I wouldn't risk my life for it," Hernandez said of the journey to immigrate into the U.S. It's hard to find a good job here, and that's why many people choose to leave. But I thank God that I have a good job here. And I would never risk my life making that journey." Inadvertently, Javier debunked a common myth about illegal immigration in his statement. Proponents of unbridled immigration will tell you that the majority of migrants are fleeing danger. This is simply not true. Many of the people who come here illegally just want a better job and to take advantage of all of the opportunities the U.S. has to offer, and for years, they have been told that they will be welcomed with open arms. Despite the narrative put forth by the liberal media, Yanela and her mother were not fleeing a terrible situation in their home country. Yanela's father has a good job in Honduras. He admitted so himself. Their situation there was so good that Hernandez said he would never put his daughter in harm's way to come to the U.S. What his wife Sandra did was irresponsible and quite frankly, reprehensible. Once again, liberals have been caught using misleading photographs to tug at the heartstrings of the impressionable public in their quest to condemn the president and his administration. First, they began circulating pictures of immigrants being held in cages. Then, it was revealed that those photographs were actually taken in 2014, when Barack Obama was president. The Trump administration does not house immigrants in cages. Quite to the contrary, they are kept in clean warm holding facilities, where they get to watch television and are fed three meals a day. Even MSNBC was forced to admit as much after sending one of their investigative reporters to a detention facility in Texas. That investigation obviously didn't pan out the way that the shamelessly liberal network hoped it would. The fact that outlet after outlet circulated these misleading photographs, and continued to do so even after the truth came out, isn't just maddening, it's highly hypocritical. In the media's never-ending quest to demonize President Donald Trump, they have altogether failed to admit that the policy of separating children from their parents at the border has been in place for literally decades. Presidents Bill Clinton, George Bush, and Barack Obama separated families at the border. In fact, Obama holds the record for deporting more immigrants than all other U.S. presidents combined. Indeed, every single day, laws are enforced which were established by past administrations. The vast majority of our laws, actually, were not created by President Donald Trump. But we still follow them. Blaming Trump for an immigration policy which existed long before he even considered running for the White House is absolutely ludicrous. The overwhelming irony of this ordeal, of course, is that Trump has done more to help these immigrant families than any of his predecessors, even signing an executive order which will keep many families together. Yet, he is given no credit. Still, he is treated as though he is Hitler incarnate. Is there nothing that will satisfy the trolls on the left who would seemingly rather see our president fail than watch him make important strides for America? The moral of the story here, folks, is not to believe everything you see. It's much smarter to question what's being fed to you than to simply accept it as fact. Always ask yourself why, why are they working so hard to make me think a certain way? If this crisis surrounding family separation at the border has taught us anything at all, 
it's that those with an agenda will use any means necessary to drive their point home, whether or not their tactics are honest. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.